today's lesson is going to be about the axe hand chop. So I'm using the axe hand. So you could go anywhere from the bottom of the pinky all the way down to the tip of the elbow. Where you're using this whole weapon here that's going to go right into the throat, into the face, whatever it is. But using this type of weapon is hard to miss with it because you're not just using your hands, you're using the whole forearm. You can use the axe hand part. So this is called the axe hand anywhere in this position. But you always wanna think about having your fingers nice and tight together, thumb is out. So when you're chopping in, then it's not compressing when your fingers are all loose. And this is kind of the old way of the old karate chop way, which is, which is okay, but it's very telegraphic. So we're just gonna go on um, on our stance on actually understanding that most people are right-handed people. You know, 85% of society to 90% of society are right-handed. So we're gonna go with the left foot forward, right foot's in the back, just pushing off the back foot. But I always wanna start with my fence position out. So if I start here, this is just my gauge. This is what I call a fence. If they're trying to get past this fence, this is where I'm chopping in. But you know, obviously this should be verbal going on, the forehand and diffusing the situation, avoiding the situation altogether. But if we cannot, this is what we need to do. Using this whole forearm, shoving it into the net. I'm using the whole forearm, shove it into the net. I can go right across the face as well. Keeping the fingers together, going across the face. I can go to the side of the neck. You're gonna cut off the circulation to the brain and when you do that, you can pass, make somebody pass out as quick as possible. Where I'm chopping straight down in, then I'm not going a big motion, it's just chopping in. So if I'm here and I have the left foot forward, same exact motion, going across the head, I can also go in at an inward angle. So I'm going in and going chopping to the neck, going straight in. So you gotta be careful on how hard you're hitting somebody in the trachea, because you gotta know the level of threat of somebody because that could potentially kill someone if you're going straight in as fast as you can possibly do and with a lot of force. So just kind of a recap on understanding how to do this. I prefer left foot forward. I like right foot forward too as well. Right foot, the hand is gonna be out and it's gonna be your power hand is gonna be in the front where I'm just going straight in and you can stop somebody so easily. I'm going, I could be here, just using my forearm to stop somebody from here. Chopping to the head, chopping to the face, anywhere on the ear here, anywhere in this area, in the front bone, I could push the nose back. There's a lot of different things you can do with this, but it all comes from the ground. The power is coming from the ground, pushing off the back foot, driving forward, hitting with the ax hand, drive forward. Guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope this was helpful, just understanding how to use the, the whole structure of the forearm. Using anywhere, so I'm a big believer in having the open hands. Guys, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.